five. Might as well give it another go in the next one, especially with that scout of Guardian. Nice approach though, going towards up on those sort of rounds. It's difficult to get multiple frags on the CD side with just the pistols there. Very difficult angles. You need rifles to really spray down and have the damage potential to get multiple kills. They don't find a single one, even with a couple of really successful HE grenades. There was a nice play from Electronic there, a real chance to find multiple frags, but shut down as they all have a little cuddle. <laughs> a team meeting. Side. Okay, guys, there are your helmets. There's the string vest. Gosh, it's quite the uniform the guys on Nuke have to wear. Yeah. Is yellow your color? Have you ever pulled off yellow? Never tried a yellow out. Maybe a mustard at times. You've, done, you've pulled out a mustard? Yeah. I believe that. I've got a bright yellow hoodie. Um, no, you I can, do. I've I can lend that, that to you. No, it's in the cupboard. Are you sure? It got a bit bobbly. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, know what like, you mean. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Hoodies do get like that after a while. I, really, I think I must have overwashed it or something, but it yeah. got a bit bobbly. And now I'm... I think the tumble dryer does that. Uh, okay, less tumble drying of my bright yellow hoodies from now on. Yeah, indeed. Well, like we said, saving the upgraded pistols and armor will be like trying to take damage once again. Another fast approach here from Optic towards the secret steps. Boomage with ambitious shots of the CDs at a range. No damage inflicted so far. More solved towards the lower steps. Flashbang sequence coming in as MSO will investigate towards the lower area. Good frag from Flamey, but it's traded out, and it's going to be the advantage for Optic now. This is a great first opening gambit from Optic. MSL, however, it does meet his demise and will put the UMP in the hands of Boomich. He has Kevlar to work with that as well. Three versus three. Advantage still significantly leaning towards the Danes. Bomb miles away from a site. They've got outside control and Config's advancing on that. Guardian will be caught out. Nice work from Config. Didn't cost him too much of his life. He did catch a scout bullet though, but he's still functioning. Down to 27. But that's enough for Electronics P250 and the UMP all to be very viable to find at least two members of Optic. Cajun still healthy as they head towards the top site. Nico making no secret of his arrival here. It's all about the trigger and perfect work from Electronic. He can even upgrade Bomb in his grasp. No support from Boomich just yet with the UMP. He does now find himself on heaven though. And that will be Cajun to secure it. Optic, they get the 3-0 they were hoping for. Yeah, fantastic start here. Money still going to be relatively strong on the Na'Vi side going into this first gun round here. I don't think they're bringing out the AWP though, however. Like we said, you don't necessarily need it on Nuke. Certainly helps out on the CT side, but for now, 4 and 4s Guardian. The outside player with the Orc, just so he can patrol that silo position. Let's see where they can hold them off. Optic might keep opting for the faster pace here, try and control. This advantage they have, Electronic towards outside, very aggressive for now, trying to find an avenue of approach here as he looks towards Silu. And at this point, MSL right in front of him. Smoke starting to dissipate, decides to pull back. That's a really switched on decision from Electronic. He pieced it together, realized he'd be much more effective given the crossfire with Guardian. They haven't got early control outside. That was kind of mission accomplished. For now, Boomich. You can hear a couple of boots on metal ground, and he'll do the same as he backs away towards the site. So that's a molly for the top of hut, I assume. Flamey's ramp, a simple main. And off we go. No one is going to be affected by the flame. In fact, it's actually dribble just a little bit to stop the exit from Hut. Great damage from Main from Simple. And that's just lining them up. He can dunk the final frag onto Config, leaving Cajun. He's up top side, getting hunted down. It's the first. Simple still locked <laughs> up by the smoke, but Electronic plays peekaboo. Yeah. And there's Na'Vi's first round once they get the weapons in their hands. And speaking of weapons in their hands, that's double Krieg recovered. It absolutely is. I love the detail from Na'Vi there. As you mentioned, the Molotov on top of the hut. Even though there was no one there, Na'Vi still put a smoke on top of it to suggest there was a CT waiting in that smoke at that stage. That's really cool because as soon as you hear that smoke pop, you're just going to start spraying in that area, going to assume someone's there. So that's a really nice uh, bait and switch at that stage. But it's a very convincing first round for Na'Vi. They'll go. 3-1 down, but we've got a tactical time out here. As MSL will discuss his options going forward, the money's starting to be drained out now. Got two Galils into this next round. MSL holding one of them, Tessus with the other. They have got Cajun's Krieg, which has looked very deadly today, I have to say. Round number five coming through. Good time to take a tactical timeout. I'm going to change the pace up into more default setup. I'm reaping towards ramp so far. Maybe that could be the next point of approach. Yeah, they haven't been towards ramp and it shows. Flamey's only got one frag can be a turret from this location, and that's exactly where he's headed. Still nothing for him to handle. You can see his uh, 
rinse, repeat strategy. Yeah, fast Molotov. And speaking of, there's another one on the hut. This time, not going to be extinguished by Navi, as you so eloquently described. Nico's in a prime spot to catch an Inquisitive Simple here, though. Boosted by Cajun. Um... One damage done to Cajun B. Yeah. Can't quite work out how that happened. <laughs> I hate to be a... Acknowledge my faults, but I don't really know how Cajun just took one point of damage. A bullet from someone, somewhere, somehow. Still, MSL descending the stairs. It's going to be electronic to receive. He's not really worried about the flashbang. He should have been. MSL played that to perfection. Telegraphed, it doesn't matter. Gets the shot, Guardian fully flash, Flamey retreating, the Molotov's gonna stop Guardian. Actually, no, he's committed, and it cost him his life. Could cost Na'Vi the round, because Boomich has fallen as well. Config catching him and his push through squeak late. Top sight's his. Absolutely is. Optic, using MSL to get down towards lower, great flashbang. Sets up his teammates towards ramp. We are speculating as to whether they would use that position of the map. They certainly did. Guardian tries to back up the retreating player there, goes through the flames. I feel like they were... Not really too cohesive there. Could have actually just fallen back together, given up ramp. If it's not a bomb site, you could set up towards lower. The fact he went for such a gamble play of committing through the flames has essentially cost him the round here. It's going to be a four on one simple. Can do nothing about this, surely. He has a kit, a Krieg in hand, but so many bodies to find. He's just looking for exit frags, if it looks at things. Yeah, just going to hope and pray. He can bring his Krieg into the next. You've got a couple of players really scrounging for pennies at this point from Na'Vi. Electronic down to the goose egg. Terrorists win. Well, we have a 4-1. Fantastic start here for Optic. Can't stress enough that getting a good start on the seaside of Nuke really is worth its weight in gold. Let's see this shot. That's the play from Guardian. Sitting in the flames. Didn't get a single frag for it. If you got an equal trade there, sure. We can say it's worth it, but... That was essentially him sacrificing himself there. And it will be a timeout this time called by Boomich. They have a save Krieg. Averaging $3,000 per player. Boomage at the top with 4,300. So a partial buy there, maybe around Simple's Krieg. But he would have to do something pretty remarkable to get them out of this situation. Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was an interesting approach last round from Optic. They sent MSL lower, and he managed to do so much. Well, that's exactly what Glaive does for Astralis. Right. So he gets down towards Secret, works out who's there, causes distraction. If you can get one kill there, that's going to cause a rotation. His teammates are ready towards ramp. It completely dismantles the defense. If you can get that trade or initial kill, oh, it's going to be a shotgun for Boomer to get the auto shotty out. And uh, okay. a very viable weapon on the CD side of Nuke. Difficult to get multiple frags here to see what he can do. Gets himself in towards heart right now. Oh, they're boosting. No way, Flamey hits um, that. Okay, and now from behind, the alligator feasts. Nico's gone as well. This round with just, what, two real weapons. I say real, that's in quotes, because it's the shotgun alongside Simple's rifle. Now Flamey with the creek he's managed to pick up, finds his second frag, and this round has just been ripped from Optic Gaming. That was through a smoke at main entrance. He gets that creek and makes it work, and Flamey does get another one. That same position. Through a smoke once again, that's two for two. So we've just seen Flamey single-handedly make this round a possibility. It's converted by Simple. That is exceptional. Round two on the board for Na'Vi, and it's off the back of a shotgun and a Krieg. Let's see that again. Flamey, bang! And Cajun B is gone. Then Boomich from behind through the smoke. He just puts the bullet into the head of MSL, and he wasn't done there. Again, he catches Config with the threat. That's ridiculous. Well, I love the play from Boomich as well. Since that 1D came in, he knows it's going to be... Scattered. Uh, yeah, there's going to be... Uh, he's scrambling to reposition, work out what happened. He pushes through towards the hut, manages to get the second kill and cause absolute carnage. Well then, Na'Vi back into this one now. It's looking like they were a little bit out of luck. There is Ooh, electronic okay. towards T-Red, but he's been overlooked. MSL makes his way towards main entrance. They might not have any idea this is happening. This is great stuff. Oh, MSL has given them a way in. He's going to clear Simple's corner. Finds him. Simple was not ready for that. Boomich has to be the hero, and Config wildly spraying into the hut. This round can slip away unless Electronic can be the hero. Only one. That's just not good enough. The communication wasn't quite there for Na'Vi. You didn't see that gap. MSL exploited it perfectly. Yeah. Really impressive stuff. They deploy the smokes outside. Electronic thinks this is going to be a pretty standard procedure of them trying to get towards Secret, but no, it's the exact opposite. MSL sneaks towards main entrance, completely catches Simple off guard there. Looked like he was looking at teammates' screens, yeah, communicating. He, he had no idea that was a possibility. 
And so to save Flamey and Guardian. Optic perhaps not brave enough to go hunting. You can't blame them given the fact that they lost the round prior to a broken Na'Vi. They just want to get back into the driver's seat. It was briefly taken from them, but Optic Gaming will find themselves their fifth here on the T side of Nuke. It's their map pick and you're starting to see why. There's a lot of depth to this T side already. Different looks presented. We still haven't seen too much of a lower side uh, hit, really, coming out from Optic. Top side does seem to be where most of their finishes have come from. Yeah, absolutely true. Optic, this is what we expected, a tactical game. Bit of a masterclass so far on how to approach the T side of Nuke. The pistol victory put the wind beneath their wings, and so far, MSL doing all the heavy lifting and finding those opening frags yeah. and exploiting the holes in the defense. Soaring at this point. Seeing a fast Molotov, fast look, nice work from Tessis, consistent. And now Electronic tests it outside. This is what he was hoping for, the round prior. Uses their smokes against them to escape. Scarfering towards Warehouse does really have the support of Guardian, but with smoke down, a moment's respite provided by Warehouse. Now another frag, this time simple. Optic getting chipped away at, leaving just two as the dust and the smoke starts to settle. This round is as good as over, and a bit of trivial damage done to Electronic. The rest, all good for Na'Vi. Config outside, they're divided. Cajun B, however, does put one between the eyes of Flamey. Well, a small chance now. Every kill they can find will be valuable. If you look at the left-hand side of your screen, the money's incredibly low on the Na'Vi side. Uh -oh. A couple of frags would be enough, but guaranteed frag for Electronic. Not quite the clean sweep, but as good as any one player going down. That was Flamey. Got to occasion to have a nice shot at the M4A4. Starting to slow down now. Na'Vi waking up on their CT side. Still a good chance they can come back and get double digits. But it's going to take a perfect game from this point. Boomy still with the auto shotgun. That's deliberate. He just dropped the rifle to Flamey and picked yeah. another one. He likes this. And Flamey still yet to be truly tested on towards ramp. This time a smoke instead of a Molotov to open things up. And Optic, they've got a little bit of a sacrifice made for a couple. MSL, just the Desert Eagle and his Kevlar. He's, he'll be picking up a weapon should his teammates fall early. And Boomish loves this weapon to hold hurt. It costs him dearly. Down to 55. He will retreat, smoke it off. MSL, the one doesn't buy a weapon and boosts his teammates. He was hoping to really set Config up for success here. But nothing given outside. Holding the molly for hut. It would be an explode if they follow this up. Didn't break the glass, and it's cost them. No Molotov on the hut. Boomich can stand vigilant. And instead, they dive deep into the lower site. This is what we were waiting to see, and it's working wonderfully for Optic at this point in time. Flamey, he's a little late to the party. Handles Tessus. Bomb's still not down. Now planted. And Config is in a prime position to catch Flamey here. He's going to have his back turned, eliminates him. Shotgun somehow working on the retake. It's the worst weapon for the job. Yeah, he's doing God's work with their config caught out the smoke in his hand. Where is he going to throw that? Uh -oh. Wow. He has to be quiet about this. Yeah, Cajun's in a lot of trouble here. They've got Kit. They're going for a full defuse. He's going to have to fly around the corner here and hope the best. Not going to work out. Full defuse comes in around. It looks like they had full control there, to be honest. Compi just had his gun out. Would have had a much better chance of a fragging towards the ramp room, but caught with his pants down. It's going to be 5-4 to four now. Na'Vi. Wow. But he's trying to get back into this one. Boom, it just continues to deliver with the auto shotgun. Buys it again. Shot from Guardian towards the upper site. And here comes the full defuse attempts after shooting out the hole in the door. Closing things out. That's Guardian. Nice work. AWP recovered. Optic, they managed to make that round look so doable with a couple of sacrifices, and now even more so have to be made. Outside control gone, and that'll get Guardian springing to life. He does fire off a warning shot into the shoulder of Nico and finished by Flamey. Oh, God, Boomich. Guarantees forward. He is so aggressive with that shotgun. He's going behind them. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Never mind. Electronic deals with it, but he is feeling himself. Definitely a confident in game leader. He's going to be leading from the front. Yeah, he's a bit of a savage, isn't he, with <laughs> he that is. shotgun? We'll see if he can keep it up. He seems to get the timing to perfection almost every single time once they get their knives out. As soon as they're rotating, that's when he strikes. Nimble on the server. Even, five, on the retake, five. even on that retake, he got a frag with that shotgun. Yeah. 
to round 11 then. Navi are going to be looking to start to accelerate here on the CT side of Nuke. The strong start from Optic. To be whittled away at Guardian. This is off the first shot. But its presence shown and therefore an utility likely invested by Optic should they give it another pass. Well, this is looking rather bleak at one stage for Na'Vi. They were 5-2 down on the CT side. Time things out to 5-5. Five, five. As I mentioned, it's still possible they get double digits here. It wouldn't be a bad half at all considering the start they had. Managing to win three rounds in a row now. Getting secured financially. For now, 5-4 and four advantage in game leader removed. Boomage once again with a shotgun in a prime position to get more kills here. Set himself up. They got down towards secret though. So we'll see if the vents will enable them to find more success there. Dink. Oh, and a follow up frag as well. Fantastic work from Boomage. Three versus two. Bomb planted towards lower. Tessis working with Config here. They've got a smoke and a Molotov. And Miley is a player here. Great spray from Flamey. Config. We said we wanted him to step up here. A three versus one with a bomb down. He's got every chance to win it. Molotov available to him, but can he nail the shots? First chance, Flamey, huge damage, brings him down to 24. Equal from Config, simple hunting that had like, yeah. to be precise. Two remain, still has that molly. Flamey's low, he can finish him off, and now Config on for the 1v3. But I think Guardian's on the bomb, I'm not sure he's worked it out. Time, no time, and Guardian wins the round for Na'Vi. Oh, he gets all the kills, beautiful sequence, but unless he denies that defuse, it's all in vain. They've got a full buy going forward. You can see that was more like it. That's all we want to see from Config. Just unfortunately, it was a full defuse there. You can see he's disappointed with that one. Great work. Really got them into that Four one. In that round eventually, but yeah. As great as that work may be, didn't quite get the sound cue he was hoping for on that defuse. Just a little too far away, a little too much ringing in his ears from the last frag. Again, electronic aggressive outside. He uses their own smoke against them, perhaps even his on the molly. Play around it, MSL's gonna get caught off here. Electronic usually likes to retweet off that one, but Tessis is gonna not gonna let him this time. Yeah, as MSL was getting the majority of the opening frags to kick this first half off for now being silenced, but an equal trade. Traditionally does help out the T side, but maybe not so much on Nuke. It's a very different map to opposed to an Inferno, for example, with long rotations. The verticality of Nuke does assist the CTs in these situations. Still advantage for Na'Vi. And we'll see Simple towards the secret steps. Only four kills to his name so far. We haven't really had to talk about him too much, which is rare. Yeah. One minute on the clock. He made a, such a statement early on Nuke on that pistol, second half. My God. He called it one of the best plays of the tournament. Now Simple, about to be threatened by Config. He will back away. Molly on the floor, and you know it's Config likely thinking about that push. And so is Flamey. Flame thrown towards him. Another kill for Boomage with the shotgun. Sneaker again. <laughs> He's starting to really hate Molly. the sound of that shotgun. Tessa's trade puts it back level. Optic are the ones that have to make the move, though, and Simple has found himself down the lower side of ramp. If they continue this walk, they walk straight into the quiet Simple. 18 seconds. They start to speed up. Simple has to get more than one here. It's only going to be the trade. It gives them a chance. 12 seconds. No resistance now. Smoke towards Decon enables the plant. Config to cover, and the smoke is enough to change the Na'Vi mines. Now this is a massive advantage for Optic. They have a flash in threes actually, and a Molotov as well. As soon as the CDs get close, Config towards Shadow might find himself in a compromised position here if they do challenge with the AWP. Guardian and Flamey to work together, both with kits available, a flashbang as well, it's pretty much as good as it gets. They can right click that out of the double doors, and it goes. First kill for Flamey, and now it's really down to Cajun B. The plant is actually decent for him, it's time six away, it'll have to be a full defuse attempt here. Will it come through? Flamey, oh, wow. no chance. Com sorry, Cajun B stepping up once again, he has some great moments on dust too, and that's going to tie things up at 6-6 six, six and the two versus one. Yeah, Cajun is one of the shining beacons of frags for Optic Gaming on this T side, him alongside Config. 12 apiece. Let's see that 12th lovely work onto Flamey just to ensure the round for his team. They had that huge advantage, but they've squandered a couple of them. This time, not the case. They're keeping things level. Six to six. Six rounds on their T side. You can see just how well versed Optic are here on Nuke. Let's see if Nico dies to the shotgun again.
it's ridiculous that he's getting like consistently one an opening frag towards Nico pretty much every single time. Yeah, he's got eight deaths. Vumich has nine kills. There's some sort of correlation, perhaps, but we'll uh, see Vumich play a more passive hold for now. Guardian c couldn't get much more passive than that line. He'll be smoked off, though. Simple. Though Molotov will choose to go aggressive. He had the choice. Will be Electronic, do excuse me, who will take that push. But by the fact that he's not heard or seen anything thrown his way in those smokes so aggressively, it puts Flamey with his ears on sticks, ready to respond should they commit towards ramp. Good incendiary, we'll buy some time. Nico oof, just about avoids the flames there. He's got the Mac 10 this round, so he'll be leaving the charge here on their push towards the ramp from MSL. AWP pushes back Flamey with the flashbang. Oh, Electronic helps us off to a free frag. Cajun B caught the Molotov out, and they're going to head towards upper. The auto shotgun. As Boomage licking his lips with a chance, getting more and more frags here. They've dropped down towards the vent once again. Indeed, they have. They love this. They've been able to exploit it multiple times. It's hard shots for Flamey, especially against the AWP. MSL connects. Now the bomb can go down. Optic. They are pulling Navi around this map beautifully. Convict's got all the info, but can he find all the frags? It's going to be a hard task. He's got two doors on either side. 180 is required. Finds a good angle. And no, oh, it's only going to be the one. Still a chance for Na'Vi. Optic still poised though to pick up their seventh. Ooh. Guardian changes things. MSL goes down. That's a big frag there. Three on two now, but the bomb's ticking at some pace. Tessus still with the Galil in hand, going for the AWP now. Can he deliver here? The defuse will come through any second. Nico has to get at least one of these. They're going to have to go for the defuse at this stage. What's Tessus' plan? The defuse only coming in. It's not going to be in time. He's won the round. It's confirmed, and it will be Optic taking the lead. Eight, six, sorry, seven to six. And the money should be in a very difficult spot now for Navi. I think they have to take an eco at this stage. $2,000, it's either force buy or take a full eco here. Those are the two options. You could see there was a player on the defuse for a second, but Testis' presence and the sound cue was enough to get off it and win them the round. Nice work. They've gone for the force. <sighs> okay. Trying to keep things as level as possible, Navi, here on their defense. Invest every penny they have. It's armor and pistols. The nade will be to blow up the door. Smoke for main, and they're actually going to go straight in. This is insane. Tessus, he's not stopping for anyone. Missed shot from Boomich, cost his teammates their life. Guardian's gone down. It was only the tag, but Boomich isn't done. In the smoke, config emerges. Another body shot. It's damaged, but it's not the round. Nico will catch Electronic through the smoke, and Optic find eight. A quick pace, a shift, right against the Na'Vi force by. That could be the ninth. Yeah, I think it might be as well. They're going to have third stage loss bonus on the Na'Vi side. That's $2,400 per player. That's enough to yield MP9s, Deagles once again. That was a risk to force by in that round and one that does not pay off. Boomish did absolutely everything he could with that Desert Eagle, looking for three frags. Managed two. Final round here, the first half. Na'Vi. Looking down the bar of a 9-6 scoreline. Don't see that too often on the CT side. It's going to be very difficult to recover this one, but certainly possible. Nice. Of and being careful, Config taking the outside control by force. Him alone this time though, they're making no secret of it, breaking the glass and continuing the push. Great work from Electronic. Adverse circumstances, but it doesn't stop him with the MP9. All slows down for now. Opening pick for Electronic. Final round and T's for play. Oof. Oh wow. Image is Deagle. It's been a nuisance for Optic Gaming these last two rounds. He's found the head of MSL to keep things in favor of Na'Vi, at least in the uh, players still standing department. And he's got a great read. So he's going to try and set up Simple here. If he gets the trade, it's enough. Oh, there it is. Now Simple ready and waiting towards lower. They might assume it's clear now. Yes, they will. Wow. Indeed. Makes an ass out of you and me. Tessus feeling it. Cajun left alone, and he will find the first onto Guardian, but it costs him just under half of his health. And that's the end of that one. 8 7 on the half. What's going down on the uh, plum at all? He's probably got one kill here. That's probably it, I'd imagine. MSL should be able to finish things off. Nico, where was he positioned? Just towards main. He was catching him on the cross. All eyes were on Cajun B after he found the first frag. And therefore, Nico, with their eyes averted, enabled him to just tap away at the heads. You can see it. Smile on his face. Let's watch that again. One, two in quick succession. He wasn't done there, catching the third eventually on towards Electronic before he ducked into Secret. Wow, Optic Gaming, that's the dream start on their map pick. 
not a full investment now in RV, just the Desert Eagles. And so no utility. It's going to be a very tough round to win, especially when Nico is just hunting down all of Na'Vi. Guardian's in trouble. That's the bomb. And he's played it perfectly. Come back away. He has the support of MSL's M4. Long range. And oh my goodness, they are just ensuring this round is over before it even begins. Absolutely wrecking house. It will be Na'Vi. Well, not with the force by, as you mentioned. Eagles only. No armor. And simple the chance to get one, but takes the bullet to the face. Down to 19 HP. Bomb down towards outside. It's a matter of time. Well, he finishes one off. Config will lob over a grenade. Double did it very early on here. Both pistols in the back. Uh, but a buy coming through in round number three here. There will be a mixture of AKs and Kriegs. As per <coughs> tradition, of course. And they do have armor and basic utility Oof. as well. Optic have... Such a mountain to overcome in this round. The buy significantly favoring that of Na'Vi. Somewhat of a bonus. Doesn't stop this from being a Na'Vi advantage though. It's the price you pay for such a clean round in the round prior. Yeah, burdened by your own success. <laughs> MSL. Perfect positioning though. He'll maybe get two frags in or quite. Electronic will get the double kill. That was their best shot with the rifles. Now three remain. Cajun B continues his push despite the sound of a fresh mag entering Guardian's Kalashnikov. He wants one and a back away. Near it all transpiring. And the reason that they are waiting is because of electronic. Tess is descending the ladder. Timing could not work out any better for electronic as he continues his advance slowly. Simple's already out the door. But from behind he strikes. Right. Flame he's already taken down the hut player. Leaves two. The site is theirs, and they're on either side of the map, Tessus and Config. Well, it's exchanged towards radio, but he'll just be completely removed and config. That's the way in. Well, at this stage, I'm not sure whether they can actually win the round, but every kill they can get and upgrading their weapons will be valuable. Uh, Tess is still going to be exploring the options here, seeing if he can recover uh, that yeah. weaponry. There it is. Finds a Krieg. I don't think they'll be going for it. Looks like it's too far out of reach, and they'll have a strong buy regardless next round. They've already got double digits on their CT side, and uh, they're in very good stead to take this map, to be honest with you. Gonna be overpass to finish as well, where they've both found success. Both opening games with these teams were on an overpass. Navi taking down North and Optic taking down Liquid. A huge scalp to take. So that'll be a fantastic third map. Which it's is looking likely good. will be coming through. Oh yeah, I mean, especially given the lead that they managed to find in the first, and the fact that Navi really haven't had much time to develop a map pool with this roster. The Dust 2 win, it makes sense. Uh, it wasn't even something that, that Navi played too much. So seeing that transformation, given how friendly it is to a more taking an initiative style of calling, it works. Nuke quite the opposite. You, you need to invest time into that, and that's exactly what Optic have done. Yeah, much different playing field on Nuke, that's for sure. But the first round fine for Navi. Oh, it's going to be difficult to get through that squeaky door position. Lots of damage being exchanged. Uh -oh. It was simple with the precision of that creep. We'll find the first scalp in the form of Config, but looking for a trade, but he gets the hell out of there. That's the wise choice. He was absolutely done for there. Agent B wants to go a little aggressive here. Yeah, why not? They've already lost his first pick and... Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, that's no. so unlucky. Oh, it bites them straight back. Simple. Gets the frag and now Nico, he realizes he has to do something about this. Guardian oh. will be pushed and they deal with that as well. My God, Lobby works for Na'Vi on round 19. Optic, they are going to be putting palm to face. After that one, Cajun for sure. Trigger discipline. You can see the other side of the coin. Sometimes you play the waiting game. It will come straight back to haunt you. Yeah, MSL knows he has to be nimble here. The problem is the AWP. Not amazing, uh, these sort of scenarios. He was done for regardless, I would say. And Tess is now M4A4, making his way towards CT spawn. Very cool position to save weapons. And it will be him detected at this point. He can go towards CT spawn, sure, but he will be hunted down. So he might want to reposition, reconsider his options here. Going towards the garage area. 10 frags to his name. Solid showing so far. 
see whether he can hold on to the M4A4. Maybe take down a couple of players with him. Flamian Guardian incredibly low. And as the bomb reaches its final 10 to 15 seconds, it will just be Na'Vi retreating safely, not interested in the hunt so much. Just a safe exit. No one even jumping on that silo to clear the outside area. Instead, just making sure that those low HP players bring their weapons into the next full Kevlar, Krieg, AK for Guardian and Flamey. Let's see that again from Simple. This frag on to Config. He realized he had a chance on a player crossing. This is the second one he gets. Cajun B's going to hate that. The third, nice movement from him to get past the MSL scope. Seen a couple of players do that, really exploit. AWP close quarters with their moves. Smooth moves. Fast molly towards the hut. Won't be too much of an issue for Config as he's playing close quarters. But this should just be a formality for Na'Vi. They want to keep all their players standing. Should be. But every kill will be valuable. To see the reinvestment costing them dearly on the Na'Vi side. They want to try and make this as clean as they can. Boomage makes his way to a secret with Electronic. He's leading the charge here. They try and split towards the lower side potentially. So far, so good. No damage taken. Tessus with that saved M4. It's pretty much all they have. Nothing really invested around it. No door for Flamey to hide behind. He'll check the close corner. Guardian in tow. Boomich thought better of his secret control. Instead, wants to start the pincer. Finds Nico hiding in the main. Now they start to accelerate. They've got to be careful. Don't want things to get too chaotic, but it seems like it's been well handled. Flamey Boomich with the necessary frags. MSL not long for this world, and that's the end of that. So, equalized 10 to 10. Ninavi Seaside has strung three together. I didn't think we'd get to this position, to be honest with you. I thought this would be a, a clinical procedure for Optic and closing things out. Still in a good position to do so. The, the finances have been sabotaged somewhat, but double digits will inspire the Na'Vi side to continue their assault here. They're looking very good indeed. Five rifles, including two Kriegs, into round number 21. They've got one more buy under their belt if they give this one up, and that will give Optic the lead on their CT side. MSL opting for the shot towards the squeaky oh. door, he hits it, but Flamey gets him in the head. Yeah, and now Config, he's stuck, doesn't know which one he wants to hold, instead it will just go back and forth. Cajun's doing everything for Optic. Not the first time I've said that. Bomb loose now on the site, a huge frag, a smoke for him to play around now as he looks for another. Simple, however, alongside Electronic, leaves Tessus. Oh. Oh, no secret about his position now, and he realizes he's no well. Looking for a fresh M4, catches Electronic, nice work. Puts it into the uh. 1v1. Yeah, he up against one of the best in these scenarios, but he rises up and three kills with Tessas. He's had a solid showing on Nuke so far. That was excellent work. He spams all of those bullets, knowing he had an M4 at his feet, picks it up, baits them out, and takes them down. No problem whatsoever. That's a really remarkable clutch there. Really impressive stuff, even with dropping down. So look at this. Manages to get that reload in, repositions, takes Simple down. We haven't talked much about him on that first map, but that's a massive round for them to pick up. Yeah, that's huge, and that can really rally the troops for Optic Gaming now in pursuit of 16. Overpass the third map should Na'Vi fall here. And that was a leap in that direction, a momentous leap from Tessus. One versus three, essentially. Lots of smart plays, the nuance of Counter-Strike displayed in that clutch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he absolutely outplayed from there. Yeah. I didn't think he stood a chance once he completely dispatched of all of his bullets in that first M4, but that's exactly what Na'Vi thought as well. Exactly, yeah, he tricked you, as well as Electronic. Oh my god, lots of bottles of flame, but nothing to catch MSL. The flash is there, enables him to hold the line again. He's got one here, for sure, Electronic will be dropped. Nico did a lot with the pistol, not this time with the rifle. Becoming predictable now. They know where Nico likes to hold. Config, inspired perhaps by Boomich, has pulled out the auto shotgun. Agent B, just in the nick of time, tucks himself in. He will, however, be exposed. Navi, this round is theirs. Wow. 
Umis just drive-bys on Cage and leaves MSL in a dire circumstance. Does clear the corner quickly, realizing he has to take an early frag here to even have a chance. Does evade the flash. He's being flanked from behind, and Guardian will catch him instead. That's a massive round for Na'Vi to pick up. Sure, they lost the last one, but it came down to that one versus one. They had the money. Optic certainly didn't going forward. They're going to have second stage loss bonus, and it's going to be $2,000 per player. 2400 on top of that coming into the next round. Still won't be quite enough, so they'll take a full eco here. They'll be compromises still. I think they're going to force it. Yeah, they kind of have to because 4K on the nose wouldn't really do much in the next round. So they're going to try and do what they can here with Deagle, PD50 is in a scout. Sometimes these rounds can work out. Danish players and Desert Eagles is uh, something about it. That's for sure. Nico, known for his proficiency with that weapon. Kevlar alongside it. He's going to be giving it his best shot. Very similar aggression from both teams on their defense. Going away, Nico exposed, and he does manage to find Electronic. That's massive. Boomich, however, will trade. Guardian, he's waiting for some re-aggression and it's just gifted to him. Config on a silver platter presents himself. Oh, Cajun. Oh, he's been so good today. He Cajun. has. Across both maps, consistently yeah. fragging. Yeah, really impressed. Getting in the man hours for sure. This should be a clean frag for Boomer, apparently not. Tess is stepping up as well. This would be a great round to pick up. The force by with Deagles, P do 50s, and Cajun B continuing his assault towards the hut. He's getting the timing right. Backs are going to be turned. There's a flash, no less. And both members of Na'Vi, they know exactly where you are. Cajun B will finish it off Damn. with the pre-fire and Optic Gaming are forced by nothing but Deagles and Kevlar to show for themselves and they still take it. It starts with Nico's aggression outside. That's pretty insane they've made that round work. In situations, especially those 1v1s, they didn't look like they stood a chance. This was a shot that really got them into the round. Cajun B getting it done. Then the flank towards Squeaky as well to confirm things. MSL with the scout. And they do have one more buy left. There were two players around $9,000. So they'll have to drop a couple of weapons. Money has been drained to this stage as Optic take the lead once again. Looking to close things out in the second map and take us to overpass. We said it looked very likely at the start of this half. And now they're back on track. There's been no resistance to stop Na'Vi getting towards Secret early. The only time we've seen it is when MSL tucks himself in there. But Boomich, Electronic now, both of them have been able to set themselves up outside, at least towards Secret, very early on into this. Yet to really see them exploit that. Nico caught off guard again, this time in main. It's always Nico in main. Cajun B looking to... Continue his good form here, but walks into the crosshair of Guardian. This time bests him, and it will be a low HP. MSL with the scout towards the heaven position. Very unlikely he can do much about this at all. Fully invested once again. The tug of war continues here. 12-12 looking incredibly likely. Maybe another force bite on the agenda of Optic. That's if they give this round up. There still is a small chance they can cause some damage here, but that should confirm things. MSL removes the test on the other side of the map, down towards that lower bomb site. Five players up for Na'Vi. They answer back with a force fire of their own. Had to drop a few weapons, and here they are. It's going to be a five versus one. 12-12 overall. Not clear who's going to be taking this map now. They've gone back to back rounds, trading four rounds in a row now. Yeah, the war of attrition continues. Yeah. Optic, Na'Vi, Optic, now Na'Vi. We keep this one going. They won it with Deagles before, but Na'Vi, this is an, a perfect round from them. They don't lose a single man. The force buy pays off in a, such a big way. They won't be finding Tessus, it seems, but happy nonetheless. Na'Vi want to close this in two. Odds were stacked against them after that first half. Still are, but 12-12. So, at the bottom of the barrel, the loss bonus, $1,500 for Cajun. They go again? They're going again, but the looks of things. Yeah, they absolutely are. They're committing to it. This could be a real dicey situation. Give this one up. It's 13 12. You get into the bookend now of this second half. You'll be full eco in the next. So, 14 12 on the cards if they do happen to give this round up. But they managed to win it before. Let's see if they can do it again. That's Molotov on towards the hut. One main as well to separate. Once or twice a half. 
boosting someone up on that can win you rounds. And yeah. the timing of this call doesn't seem far from perfect. Depends on if they commit, but it will be thrown from both sides. And here they come. Flash on Cajun. Guardian doesn't check it properly, and he can exploit that. No, he can't. Cajun's so good, but not this time. Yeah, flashed off. He thought he had some time, and oh my god, that's ambitious from MSL. Down he goes. I like the damage done, but it's a four on three. Still a chance, though, with the damage inflicted. Simple. And Guardian, low HP at this stage. Config. CZ in hand. Close range weapon. Commits himself towards the hut and squeaky door position. Set a minutes on the clock here. Door opened. 50 seconds. We'll see whether he can work out the next move of Na'Vi here. I don't think it's clear that Na'Vi win this one. These rounds can turn on their head with a couple of CZ bullets. Here we go. <laughs> Henry the Prophet. 30 seconds. And now it is starting to feel awkward for Na'Vi. They're all so low. Electronic, he's the healthiest of all of them, and he's down to 47. Oh, they got oh, he got Oh, did he see the heal? He certainly has heard him now. Like ships in the night, they pass one another unawares. Bomb can go down. Guardian to support. Nico, if he goes up that ladder, he is not going to be making the, an impact. Oh, the That's timing. not unless Config catches him with a pin in his hands. Electronic and Simple then. They call them the dastardly duo of Na'Vi, but they're so injured. They've got the Molotov, though. Electron is not going to play with Simple of this one. He's just going to play for the bomb, knowing they probably won't have kits there. Down he goes. Is that enough? Ooh. Now the Molotov has to be deployed. He has to wait. He knows they won't have utility. He has to get this Molotov right. Flash alongside it. Tess has no kit. Flash high and does force that him off be the enough. bomb. I think Electronic's done enough. You nailed it, Henry. Yeah. This whole round, you nailed it. Clap. Pat on the back. Um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and to Na'Vi as well, of course. And Na'Vi will get themselves their 13th. There we go. That was perfectly planned. Wow. Like, as soon as I saw the Molotov, the, you knew Electronic. He didn't even have to be part of that interaction, just knowing they won't have utility or kids. As soon as he gets that down, he confirms things. Technically, if he didn't have the Molotov, they lose that round. He had no chance there, but he did have the vital bit of utility there. It was Convict who did God's work towards the upper bomb side to get them in that position. But that was a force buy. It doesn't mean too much unless I pin the round on the board, because still... Oh, that sucks for the Optic Gaming. You get so close after some heroic plays, a difficult buy, and now Na'Vi string them together. You called it the War of Attrition. It did go back and forth for four rounds straight, but now establishing finances at the uh, bookend of this game. Yeah, absolutely. They do manage to save a couple of weapons, however. So AK and a Krieg, will it tempt them into investment again? Tests could drop a FAMAS. They could go for it once more, but it'll be, that will be the all-in But yeah, you lose that, you're looking at 15. Yeah. You can see the pressure against the Rugger now. I still have belief they can do something with this round. Testers and Config have been great. Cajun Bees have some fantastic moments. And these pistols don't seem to be too much of a problem for them, to be honest. No, no you have the positioning, they have the players, the manpower. Ooh, and boom. Oh, and boom! It nearly craters. It was nearly enough, but now Electronics caught Config. The punishment is swift for damaging the in-game leader of Na'Vi Electronic. He's playing Assassin's Creed. That's not even Counter-Strike. Leaping from the heavens, he finds Tessus. MSL eliminated as well. And Cajun and Nico, well, that's all they have to show for this round. The two stars with the rifles eliminated without too much more than a blink and a sniff from Na'Vi. So this will be 14. They will have weapons by the boatload for the closing stages of Nuke Optic presenting as much resistance as they can in the next. That's why they chose not to invest. But it puts Na'Vi within poking distance. Of finishing this one in two. Yep, Nico couldn't do much with his USP. Big round there for Na'Vi. One away. Money starting to get to a more comfortable position for Optic. They will have rifles across the board and an all from SL. What a great game this has been on Nuke. Na'Vi turning up on the second half in a big fashion. Looking for series point here in this upper bracket game. 2-0 would be amazing considering where they found themselves. 8-7 down, yeah. moving on to their T side. Didn't look likely they'd get to this point. For a brand new team as well, to be able to find so many rounds, seven from the T side of Na'Vi so far. That's a whole lot of credit to them. Credit, of course, also, and you have to remember this, to Blade. It's the dream tournament yeah. for Na'Vi to arrive in because of the additional microphone time for the coaches. T-side a little less intimidating with that cushion of storied caller and CIS 
developer of, of talent in Blade. 14 to 12. Optic, they, it's a must win. Yeah, it has to be. Config dismounts from the hut silently, makes his way towards the CT vent. Flashbangs thrown in towards upper, running out of utility now. Just one smoke and a couple of flashes, one Molotov on the Na'Vi side. One minute on the clock, Molotov deployed towards the hut. No window shot out again, same result. We saw that in the first half too. Failed Molly as well, doesn't stop them. Sending the vent. Simple will be the first on the chopping block from the top site. Nico, that's the bomb, that's the info. So much of it. He's willing to take the fight again and it costs him electronic. Oh, and Oof. Config quick reactions takes down Boomich. That was the round in itself. If Na'Vi get that kill, it's probably going to be a Na'Vi round, but now they have the advantage of MSL. Oh, <gasps> one of the few missions he's had so far, and that could cost them. Oh my goodness, MSL had a chance. That was the bomb carrier. Couldn't get across if he hit that shot now. Electronic could get caught off, admittedly. It's Config who actually switches up to the AWP as he clears these corners. That could catch Electronic. Did he spot him? I think he might have seen the barrel. They got no kit. Agent from window. Oh, no kit. They're going to have to beat this up. An electronic clinical in his execution of the first. Agent, he's been the hero from Optic, but he's not ready for Guardian from behind. They strike. Big. Simple knows what it means. They are one away from finishing this in two. $3,000 per player. A must buy for them. No ecos available here. It's going to be pistols and SMGs and three rounds in a row required. Can they make this work? Guardian doing excellent work there. It was a risk to challenge it from that position, but he nails the headshot. SMGs, two MP9s, two UMPs, oh, and a Desert geez. Eagle. That's all they have, but these are the sort of rounds that seem to find success just when you need it the most. Good damage already, softens them up for the SMGs, the sewing machines, as you put them. nico has got his Desert Eagle this time, however, he's caught off. MSL, he's found success from here before, and the Molotov this time is perfect. It forces him oh. at least to back away, cost him a great deal of health. Na'Vi can slow this down a little bit. Yeah, they're trading blows outside. Nico and MSL low, but same story for Boomage and Electronic. Guardian. We'll have the smoke clear now towards Hut. Config's on top of it. Do they have a Molotov? They don't. Won't see that late Molotov from the Na'Vi squad, so he is safe as houses. Na'Vi know this is their best shot. Should they concede this? Things get even more difficult. Couple of shots from Flamey there, might Get the rifle in the hands of Guardian now. Time is ticking away. 35, 35. seconds and... It looks like Convict's got a prime position to do some damage here. First kill for Na'Vi. Is this the start of something great? Oh, that's a fantastic shot. And it's going to be Gajian B. He was the linchpin there. Oh, this kill could decide it. It's going to be simple to pick things up. Four versus one now, but Nico's still alive and kicking. 20 seconds remain, two on one. He's got a chance here. A real chance. He even knows where Simple's coming from. The bomb next to him. And so is the player. Boomich, and he's going to be simple to confirm it. Na'Vi take Optic's map pick away from them and are through the upper bracket. They weather that storm. The Danes, they took down Liquid to get here, but Na'Vi 